Hi, so I was uh, doing my grocery shopping at a little Aldi store uh, last, uh, what was it, a couple of days ago and I came across this microscope. So it's a USB microscope from a company called Maginon, I believe. I um, hope I'm pronouncing this correctly. Um, really nice thing about this microscope is that it offers 200 times magnification advertised and I got it for only $50. Australian. So um, I'll do the unboxing and then um, I'll try to magnify a few things to see how good it really is. And uh, I should uh, give you a disclaimer, I've never played with a microscope before. So I have no idea really what a good microscope is supposed to be like. Um, but uh, my kids are really interested in this. So let's have a look at this. So let's start with removing the Instruction manual. It comes with a three-year warranty, which is really good. Three-year warranty. A lot of parts inside. You can see tweezers, USB cable, um, culture dishes. Um, comes with editing software for the PC. Uh, sample flasks. Let's see. Uh, sample flasks with adhesive. Eosin dye, which makes it easier to see details in uh, whatever you're looking at and uh, see so I have to read the details to see how to use these things. What else do we have? So, the paper. Uh, so this is the the optical unit. It's some with LED lights embedded and switches. So, okay, a light switch here. There is a dial that you can turn to change the magnification. So, 60 times, 200 times, 10 times, back to 60. There's the lens here. Uh, you can see uh, an LED light source here. All right. And a USB connector on the side. Put the mounting part. So, yeah, it's metal plastic. It's got a little dial to raise or lower the sample. That's another thing. And a little box with software glass um, so these are uh, glass slides a little plastic case it's for your samples in here little containers with it says gum media on this one, sea salt, in dye, so culture dish with three compartments. USB cable and plastic tweezers. All right, let's assemble this now. So I'm not gonna even read the manual. It seems simple. So I'm gonna slide the optical unit onto the frame. There you go. Done. <laughs> I suppose once I put a sample into one of these, um, I think uh, they look like plastic. They're not glass. So just plastic slides, you insert the slide here and then once you connect the USB cable to your computer you get a video on the computer so you can go ahead and, and focus and um, um, magnify and so on. So that's all there is in terms of unboxing. Let's move on to the computer side now. Okay so I've connected the uh, microscope to my computer via USB 2. Uh, look in the instructions. 
the video sensor in the microscope outputs uh, 640 by 480 video and uh, even though the software that comes with the microscope is for Windows only uh, worked out that uh, it's just a normal video source as far as the computer is concerned so on the Mac I can just use uh, QuickTime player and go to uh, new movie recording and then select the video source as uh, in this case it's going to be the USB 2.0 camera so I've got a few samples to look at um, in the box I got one of these, it's an onion bulb epidermis uh, then I've got a couple of PCBs to look at there's a stream of hair and I'll check the ink on my business card so let's have a look at the onion bulb first so I'll slide that in here now the microscope comes with uh, two light sources there's one at the bottom part of the microscope where the slide is on and there's also one on the top uh, right next to the sensor so there's a button up here I can press this button and I can alternate between uh, each one of those light sources or I can have both of them turned on so I'll try to do this with both of them turned on I'm going to turn the dial here to gain some focus there you go, there's the onion and I can also change magnification so I'm going to go back to 10 times magnification so that's what it looks like so I'll center it and then try to go one level up and this is 60 times magnification there's the onion and I'll go to 200 times magnification and that's what it looks like at 200 times quite nice detail you can see a bit of moisture trapped in there um, the dials are a little bit clunky so they give in a bit so I think I've got it just right here nicely focused and then when I let it go um, it, it blurs a little bit so there's a bit of spring action in here uh, I suppose uh, plastics to match the price in this case but nothing major it can still work out a good focus point so that's what onion looks like let's have a look at some ink now I've got my card here let's I'm going to move back to 10 times magnification so there's business card let's zoom in so that is 60 times let's focus All right. so you can see that pigment on the paper here um, let's go to 200 times and focus again there you go, so that's what uh, ink on a business card looks like it's a D All right? Hmm. okay what else? Well, how about a bit of hair? Let's see what that looks like under the microscope. So move back a bit. So go back to ten times. There's a hair. Already focused. Move to ten, uh, sixty times magnification. Little focus okay not much detail I suppose uh, let's move into 200 times and try to find it again just by moving the slide and refocusing here so you can see almost transparent it's very fine here almost transparent but I can't really see any any detail if I want to take a picture of this then um, see I can uh, I can do some I can actually start recording this as a file and then once I have a, uh, a video file I can take uh, screenshots of it and uh, just use the images from the microscope like that so that's the hair let's have a look at uh, PCBs now I've got, got uh, a green PCB with a surface mounted part 
So I'm going to go back to 10 times magnification and I'm going to switch off the bottom LED source. So there's only the, the top one. You can see a nice image here. It's pretty nice. You can see the sole down this surface mounted part. Some blob of solder. <laughs> and that's the other side. Quite interesting to see these things so close up. And then you can look at the pads. You can see what the pads look like. A bit of tin here and the um, silk screen on it. Uh, focusing a bit more. It's at 200 times magnification. You can see how the pad joins the screen. And it's a uh, silk screen drawings. Hmm. I'll have a look at a slightly better quality PCB next. It's the last sample. So back to 10 times. Alright, so these are gold plated pads. Alright, there you go. At 10 times magnification. And this is at 60 times. And you can even see that the writings are a lot finer in this uh, better quality PCB. Very nice detail here. What about the back? Yeah. You can see a via. Here's a via. It's plated as well. But it's, it's, uh, it's got the mask on it. Purple mask. And at 200 times. There's the via. <laughs> it's all nice and covered. What about here's a pad for a hole through, a through hole uh, component, gold plated. And let's check out the writing. Still very fine, so you can see there's a lot of detail in this PCB. So, very nice microscope, all in all. Great for the kids, great for me as well. So I can have a, a good look at these parts. So, yeah, for $50, I think it's a great buy. Gonna spend a lot of hours just uh, looking at the microcosm through this. Uh, USB microphone and uh, microscope and making microscopic movies.